Hey right guys, Trish Much is Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 15 of How I Met Your Mother season 1. The last couple of episodes have been really good and we've had, like I said, a good handful of great episodes now. And yeah, I feel like I'm on board with all the characters now. Dare I say? Dare I say that I'm on board with... I think the weakest thing for me is still Robin, but again, I think I've said before, but it's not because she's bad, I just feel like she hasn't done as much or been in it as much as the other characters but it's good to see with Barney as well in the last episode I felt like that kind of added a maybe potential friendship and now he's kind of found out that she maybe has a crush on Ted as well so uh, but he's with Victoria and we like it that way I wanted to stay that way for as long as it can but we'll see so episode 15 guys if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to How I Met Your Mother and every other show that I do then Patreon will of course be linked down below but for now let's do this <laughs> What was that speedrun version? The hell? Is that he's always been good at games. Oh. I mean unbeatable. Jim! Yahtzee! Marshall looks the most comfortable, that's why he's winning. You don't have to shout out poker when you win. I know, it's just fun to say. It's just fun to make everyone know that he's won. Invent your own game. Oh. It's called... Marsh Gammon. It combines all the best features of all the best right. games. Candyland, I never, Pictionary. Backgammon, obviously. No, backgammon sucks. Game night. Okay, I want to lay down some ground rules for tonight, Barney. I actually like Victoria a lot. So don't say anything about Understandable. Don't say anything. <laughs> and guys, I haven't exactly told Victoria that I used to have a kind of thing for Robin. So if we could just avoid the well, 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 that's going to come out by the end of the episode. You made me promise to be on my best behavior around your girlfriend, yet you have been lying to her since day one. Ah, uh, I won't say lying to her. They've been dating for two weeks, but doesn't Victoria deserve to know that you once had the hots for Robin? Maybe. Speaking of digging up dirt, can I count on you two to behave around Victoria? Us? What will we do? Look, um... Innocent Lily would do nothing. How dare you? Could we skip the traditional interrogation of the new girlfriend tonight? No. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Nope. I should go help Robin. Oh yeah, I guess none of them have met her. Because they were hiding in the bathroom the whole time last time. Are you tonight? Oh, sure. She's great. Oh, what? Because of the whole thing where I said I liked Ted? No, Victoria is great. Lily's team Robin, though, that's the problem. I said she's great too many times, didn't I? You must really hate the bitch. <laughs> Jesus. But if you roll an even number while adjacent to the that's peppermint forest, that's just the forest, game of life, though. Marshall out. Got it? Right. It's like when Joey made his own game, or was it Joey? I can't remember. You got autobiography. Now that's where you have to answer a personal question about your dating life truthfully. Specifically dating life, okay. Victoria, have you ever cheated while in a relationship? Oh. Wow, good question. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Lily set this one up. Well, I was in a really crappy relationship in college and I wound up kissing this guy at a party one Ooh. night and I felt terrible about it. So I came clean and we broke up. This is a fun game so far. Victoria? Lily approves. That was an honest and mature answer. You may advance to the gumdrop mountains. <laughs> Victoria, did you ever re-return to this guy? What? You said what? You got a drink. Barney asking the big questions. What is her name? Sharon? Shannon? Shannon? Shannon. Shannon. Ah, uh, yes, I don't care about Shannon at all. Yeah, okay. Well, because she gave me a videotape to give Where's the tape? <laughs> Okay, you know, whatever. <laughs> How many boyfriends did you have before you started dating Ted? Uh, it yes. actually says Ted. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, boyfriends, Don't I question said, it. Well, I've only had two. Prude alert. <laughs> well, Jeez. That's, that's serious boyfriends. I've dated other guys in between. <laughs> oh, slut alert. <laughs> we went from prude to slut in like five seconds. There it is. Thanks, Lily. You're a peach. Why the kitchen? Okay, okay. Uh, VHS tapes, wow. Barney, what was on that tape? Too bad you'll never find out. Oh, 
But now we have to know that's the problem. I'd given you a fake tape and hidden the real tape in my purse. Oh, wait, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> oh, <okay>. What? Krypton. <laughs> yeah, you were just weird about it. I, I gave you Ted's graduation tape instead. <laughs> so should we pop it in? Uh, just slide that one in. Fine, fine. Here we go. At least we actually get to see what it is. <laughs> what is that? Okay. I love you so much. It's like those guys who upload TikToks when they find out their ex has got with another guy. So they upload a video to TikTok talking to them. Those videos exist. I'm not making that up. It sounds like I am. Tempest of woe. Baby, please. The fact Barney can just sit there and watch this. There's a thief in the palace. She's stolen all my love. There's a thief in the palace. She's okay. The one woman Barney maybe loved. Shaken by that. Yeah, I left two messages. I'll join the, the game. Club, the lusty leopard. He's off the grid. Hey guys, what up? Barney, where have you been? Yeah, we're doing drugs. Then why don't you tell us your most humiliating moment, Marshall? Show me how good it is. <laughs> All right. I was oh, yeah, stopping by is. Lily's kindergarten class to say hi, but yeah. they were all at recess. It was a, a smaller target than I'm used to, so I figured I should sit down. Okay. What I didn't realize was gonna walk. it was a shared bathroom. Okay. Ah! Pretty embarrassing. Yeah, I'd put that up there. I wish I had pulled up my pants. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Worthy competition, Molly. Yeah, you were meant for me. And I was meant for you. Uh He's having his Phoebe moment. Thank you. Jesus. The wig. Dude, that's your G friend? All right, high five. Sorry, I only give high twos. Oh, God. Was a nail in that? Listen to you. That? You know. Women aren't objects, they're human. He became this man. Forget all that touchy-feely crap. You get money, you get laid. End of discussion. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, man. Uh. Peace out, hombre. <laughs> Suits. Yeah. <laughs> We're all set to leave for the Peace Corps. Only problem was... She never showed up. No! A changed man. You know what, this was a mistake. We... Oh. What if somebody else told their most humiliating story? Oh, I know just how to decide who. Ted's got plenty, no? We're not quitting just because Ted's so far ahead. I was winning. <laughs> <gasps> That's clearly pointed at Robin. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing a report on live TV about a handsome cab driver oh, that's slipping in horse that. poop story. Yeah, we all know that one. Okay. How about this? <laughs> Good they call back to it though. Humiliating story. Yeah, Victoria. Meeting way Ted. To step up. Kids, I tell you a lot of inappropriate stories, but there's no way in hell I'm telling you this one. <laughs> Don't worry though, it wasn't that great. <laughs> it's the greatest story uh, ever. I love they can do things like that with the editing. Victoria, I deem your offering worthy. My saga? Continues. Because I felt like with Friends, they kind of got created with the editing, but it was like very early on in like seasons one to three, and then they just kind of stopped doing that. I think you should go on without me. Shannon, there is no... Barney, it's your dream. It's only two years. Only I'm two not... years? <laughs> Fair enough, it's only two months. I realized Shannon was an adult. Her father couldn't control her life. I had to go back and confront him. She and was she in was the middle of a heated you. argument with her dad. Oh no, no more. Oh no. Yeah, she did. With with the suit guy. What? <laughs> now we all got a drink. So we are still playing game now then. Was it that suit guy rolled on up? And that's why he became the suit? I don't... Marshall's mom sent us cookies. Lily, no, no, Lily. For the team, Marshall, for the team. <laughs> This is Erickson, it's Lily. I love that they're just like, I wonder what happened in Victoria's now. Crap, my mom sent cookies. Yeah. That I wish we had a dog over. so they wouldn't go to waste. <laughs> so. The ultimate insult. Lower sex. Sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. It's cold. 
Uh. Grab that Afghan your mom made. <laughs> <laughs> the whole That's not great. Time, the... Why wouldn't the mom hang up? That's on her. She just sat there listening. So where was I? Oh yeah, Shannon was sucking face with her dad. Well, <laughs> is it actually dad? <laughs> that would be something. Your dad? I mean, I, I know judged, not lest he be judged, but gross. Barney, Game that's not my dad. Okay. His name's Greg. I've been seeing him for a few weeks. Oh. Granola business? It was just a phase. Uh... Greg's older. He's successful. He buys me all this cool stuff. <laughs> but I love you. But he has a boat. Evil. You Evil. Go to the Peace Corps. Shame. And forget about me. Holy water. That night, I recorded my video and mailed okay. it to Shannon. Well, that's. And she sent it back all these years later. Did you um? Did you get my tape? <laughs> oh, she got the tape. Yeah, there it is. You? You? It was you? <laughs> the plot twist of the century. Rainbow. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> nah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Body. Okay, well. <laughs> Soon off the app. <laughs> it begins. Become what you hate. Become the villain. <laughs> this app. <laughs> Close-ups. It is like Darth Vader. Or Anakin becoming Darth Vader, I should say. <laughs> yeah, I, I said it. There it is. Wow. That's impressive. Very good, very good. <laughs> I did see Shannon one more time. When? Sorry. Although I'm, I'm, even I'm invested in the story now. Well, you've got to tell us. I don't know. I think I might need one last story to get me through it. Ted has a plethora. Here we go. You know what story I want to hear. Everyone else here has manned up tonight and told the truth. Why can't you? You're right. What? Victoria, I'm sorry. I haven't told you this yet, but... This is going to be not what he's on about kind of into Robin. How's that an embarrassing story? In fact, on our first date, I might have said, I love you. Ah, yeah, that is embarrassing, yes. The night did not end there. <laughs> we all ended up at the bar. There's more. To one hell of a night. <laughs> Back to and I drank. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go kiss her, right? Now. Yes, do it! To the cab. <laughs> yes, to the cab. Go driving. Great. Oh, God. Hello? Is someone out there? Okay. Well, she didn't... Oh. Well, now she knows. Thought you were vomit-free since 93. So that was a lot? <laughs> That's what he's bothered about. For me. That's really sweet. Victoria, I know this must be... Yeah, it kind of is. No, she's not going to leave, is she? Already. This is a deal breaker. Dad, you were right. You shouldn't have told that story. <laughs> <laughs> but you did earn yourself the right to the end of mine. We fast forward eight years into the future. Eight? Hey, yeah. Jesus. That's this year. Marshall, not only is it this year, it's tonight. Well, as in... So before they came to the bar. Barney? Hi, Shannon. What are you doing Just here? listen. When you left me for that guy, Greg, it changed me. Yes, my guy. It seemed insane that you didn't know who I am now. So here I am. Uh, and then she told me about her life. She and Greg dated for a while and then split up. Yeah. But here's Shut the real up. kicker. Shannon's a mom. That could have been my kid. That could have been him in another Instead, what universe. Do I have? My whole life, some money in the bank, some suits in my closet, and a string of one night stands. Your body's getting real this up, you know. Well, I mean, just because her life went one way and yours went another. Someone laughing in the audience. <laughs> okay. My life rocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Huh? These happy days. Money, suits, and sex? These are tears of joy. Okay. <laughs> Cooped up in some tiny apartment, changing some brat's poopy diapers, but instead I'm out in the world being awesome 24-7, 365. You let me dodge a bullet, big guy. <laughs> After Shannon and I talked, I nailed her. Oh, well, so well to happen. Nope. Yeah. Sorry. Nope. Buy it. You're making it up. You're just trying to cover the fact that you actually had a profound moment of doubt about yourself and... Okay, well... Oh Video's pretty good on this phone, huh? I doubt it. That's gotta be like three pixels. Is your phone on? No, it just takes a while to power down. <laughs> okay. They're gross. Just stop it. <laughs> Freak. Please, gentlemen, Ted, just how awesomely awesome my life is. Peace out, hombres. <laughs> He's broken inside. I think Barney just won game night. That those rare times when we do open up, it's amazing how minor those secrets all end up seeming. Well, did she just leave like two on the floor? Ah, uh, see, says all, but deep down he's lonely. Of course, not every secret was told that night. But that's getting ahead of the story. Oh, the story, the plot. I feel like, I feel like. This, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm there with the show now. I feel like we've had enough great episodes now. Because this was another one for me where I'm just like, yeah, that was a really well done episode. Minus the Barney filming that without a knowing. That was a little bit strange. I don't know about that. But, uh, yeah, really good episode. I think mainly for Barney's character. Like, he's, uh, say, you know, I'm sure he's very happy with where he is. But I feel like at some point it's going to catch up to him where he, you know, he sees all his friends starting to live their lives and get older and start to settle down and he he stays the same way he is which i assume will be for a while but then if we get to like t towards the end of the show and he starts to realize that kind of he's not really changed too much i mean obviously i hope we have arcs and development with barney's character and doesn't just stay the same as he in season one all till the end um but if he kind of has like those moments of realization which i felt like you know he says what he says and i believe he i believe that he believes what he's saying, but then like little moments where he's kind of sat at the table by himself as well, just like picking up women like that. At some point, that's going to catch up to him where he's like, oh, I really don't have anyone and everyone's kind of moved on. I feel like he could be in some way the Joey of the show. I mean, if, if we're comparing characters between he would be the Joey of the show, he's like the, the guy who's sleeping with everyone and everyone has a crush on, you know, I, I get it. But um, yeah, I hope they kind of do a bit more with him than just that. I'm not expecting that anytime soon, obviously, <laughs> but I'm just saying in the grand scheme of things, I feel like they could really do a lot with Barney's character, and I felt like this episode was the first one that kind of hinted at the kind of potential they could do with his character. So yeah, Barney was really good, Ted was good, everyone was really good this episode, actually. I like Victoria as well, I'm glad she could... I kind of had a moment where I worried maybe she was going to get up and leave, but I'm glad she's sticking around. I know she's, of course, I mean, I could be wrong, but I I don't think she's going to stick around for ages. I mean, it might be for like the rest of season one or something, but hopefully it's a while because I feel like, I feel like she's a really good character to have around as well. So yeah, another really great episode. I'm feeling a 8.2, maybe like an 8.3 around there out of 10 for this episode. Uh, up there with one of the best that we've had so far for sure. And again, the editing and the creation, the creative ways they go about telling the story uh, with some of these scenes is really well done as well. I hope they keep that going throughout the show because, as I mentioned in the reaction, I felt like Friends kind of was very creative with some of its editing choices and some of its scenes, but it was like in the first three seasons and then they just kind of stopped doing it for some reason. Uh, and that's not to say from their Friends got bad or anything like that. It's just that one aspect of it. I felt like they could have been a bit more creative with some of the ways they told some of the scenes, uh, which they did in those first three seasons. And I hope this kind of keeps what it's doing with that style of stuff throughout the show will be quite nice so thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed let me know if you thought of the episode down below in the comments and i'll see you next time for episode 16 until then take care peace